Hi everyone, welcome back to our new session of the Python. In this session, I will explain you about lambda function used in Python. So, lambda is a very important function or it's anonymous function which does not require to declare. So, we will use it in any time of programming which will give us a better output as and when required. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's start with lambda function in Python. So lambda function can have any number of arguments but only one expression. The expression is evaluated and returned. Lambda function can be used wherever function objects are required. So just like uh, we can see here let's see single or declare some value triple triple equal to lambda a a plus or multiplication of two so whatever value we have a theme will be multiplied with 2 and printed to our index or in the output. So triple seven. So it means the value of a is seven and multiplied by two, then it will give us the output as 14. Let's change this and see. Now we'll get it 21. So by this way, and this is a very easy to use or declare the function as and when required in our process. So in the statement, as you can see here, the lambda function. So this is the lambda function from here to here, from lambda to here. This is the expression where we have declared the lambda function where e is the argument and e into 3 is the expression that gets evaluated and returned into output. This function has no name. It, re it returns a function object which is assigned to the identifier that is triple. So let's see if I want to call it or return this nearby statement then we have to define with the function the uses of lambda function in python we can use the lambda function when we require a nameless function for a short period of time in python we generally use it as an argument to a higher order function so a function that takes in other function as arguments and display as the value what is whatever is required lambda functions are used along with built-in functions like filter and map so whenever we are needed to print the filter value so let's see one example here where we have declared one so let's see list and equal to I am giving here as a value so value whatever value I want to provide in between my list I will assign it to here so 1 3 5 9 8 so that's it now I want to create a new new list where I want to define as a list and use the filter so in filter I am going to define my lambda function so filter then lambda 
okay in lambda i am going to give here as a a after colon there would be an logic where i want to bend it so a modulus of 2 2 equal equal to 0 so this is the logic which i want to use it then First, it means triple, triple list. Okay. Now we have done. Let's print the value new list. So it's new list and close. Let's see the result. So now you can see here this is printed one value eight so whatever value we have it will skip the result and after skipping the result it will print the number so let's change the number which as per our requirement so i'm increasing the value here or adding some more value to get the exact result so, It is also required eight eleven three and finally twelve. Now let's print this. Now you can see it is printed four six eight in twelve. It will skip the value which is not having a modulus two not equal to or sorry equal equal to zero so that will skip the value and print only the even number so in this example whenever we are talking about the function called with all the items in the list and a new list is written which contains items for the which is the function evaluated to true so this is the example of filter where we have presented or use the lambda function so let's see some more example in similar logic or uh, to describe the lambda function so let's say if i want to print the multiple arguments so just like a and b or x and y whichever argument you want to use it you can so let's make the changes here or write a simple code which will describe our value so a equal to lambda so here i am going to provide here two value x comma y okay and then the logic is same here so again so it will multiply x into y and the print the value so printing the value we need to provide two arguments with detail so here we have given a and it when in between that we will lead two numbers so four comma nine so it will multiply both the numbers because because we have provided logic here x multiplied by y and first value is 4 and second value is 9 so after multiplication we will get 36 so by this way we can declare the multiple argument same way we can do that third argument as well so let's say z and i want to add all three numbers This is the logic then again in the next uh, print option we need to provide three values save it let's print this and you will see the result so 4 plus 9 9 13 plus 7 is 20 let's multiply this see the result is accurate or not now you can see first it will multiply with 4 into 9 36 plus 7 that is 43 
so by this way we can define with multiple arguments so why it is used the power of lambda is better shown when we use them as the anonymous function inside other functions so let's say have a function definition that takes in one argument and the argument will be multiplied with an unknown number so by this way we can use it at n number of time and it will show the mean power of using lambda function so this is all about using lambda function so let's recap this we started with the basics of lambda function then we have created three examples here and discuss each and everything in detail which present the power of lambda so this is all about lambda function used in python hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching